Hello again, here we will use the same data frames as the previous videos and we will do a left join where is null is usually represent like this and is nothing more than just selecting the rows from left data frame that don't have a match in the right data frame. For right join where is null is exactly the reverse thing. From right data frame, we will select the ones that don't have a match in the left data frame. And we can do this with join and merge instance methods. Also, we will see if it is possible to do it with the concat function, okay? Like in the previous videos, we are importing pandas here and here we are loading the salary and the bonus. Here we are making the column ID as an index in salary and bonus and after this we will do our code. So let's start by implementation that is using the join instance method and we declare the result that is equals to salary dot join. We provide bonus ID index. We say that it will join on ID. The column of salary that is called ID will join with the index of bonus ID index. We say that l suffix is equals to underscore l and r suffix is equals to underscore r. After this, we need to call the method query and we pass the string name underscore r dot is null. We are selecting the rows that have the name underscore r equals to not a number. Okay, then we print the result here and let's run this. And we got this result where we have here Octavia that is the only one row of salary that don't have a bonus. And attention, we don't provide the how parameter because the default is left join. Let's do for right join. We just need to copy these and paste here and the difference is we just need to say here that the how parameter is equals to right. Also, instead of checking if the name underscore r is null, we will check if the name underscore l is null. So we change here and we run and now we got our result where we have here ChaseD and is the only row of bonus that don't have a salary. Let's move on for the next exercise that is doing the same thing using the merge instance method. So we just need to declare the result that is equals to salary.merge. We provide the bonus ID index. Also we say that the how parameter is equals to left since in the merge instance method the default for how parameter is inner we say that the left on is equals to id and right underscore on is equals to underscore id so the id is the column of salary and the underscore id is the index of bonus id index and now we will do a different thing that is adding a new parameter that is called indicator and we say that it is equals to i. Let's run this and see what this parameter indicator does. And we got this result. We have a new column that is called i and the values of this column are both, both and left underscore only and both again. So this means that in this case where we have left underscore only means that we just add values on salary not in bonus okay so we have here not a numbers where we have both it means that we add values in both data frames salary and bonus so we don't have not a numbers we can take advantage of these in the query method instead of checking if there are not a numbers we just need to say that i is equals to and in this case we need to insert an inner string left underscore only okay so it will select the rows that have left underscore only in the column i if we run this we get what we expected and this will even work if we use a outer join okay let me show what a outer join does and 
the outer join will combine all the rows from salary with all the rows from bonus ID index, okay? The ones that don't have a match will end up with not the numbers in the other side, okay? And notice here, we have here the left underscore only and in this case we have here right underscore only. So, Shazedy don't have a salary, okay? And in this case, Octavia don't have a bonus. As you can imagine, to do the right join, we just need to go here, copy and paste right underscore only, uncomment this part, run this again, and we got this result where we have here chastity, that is the only row in bonus that don't have a match in salary. And now let's do the same thing with the concat function, okay? Let's go a little down, okay? And the first thing that we need to notice here is we will use the concat function and the concat function don't have anything that will help us adding this underscore x and underscore y. So we need to change the names of these two columns in one of the data frames so we can distinguish where they came from. Okay, so we will change the name of the columns of bonus ID index. Let me paste here the code and here we are declaring a new variable that will have the data frame with the names of those two columns changed. Okay, instead of name is name B and instead of value is value B. To do the concat, we already know how to do that. We just need to call pd.concat and pass the salary ID index and the bonus ID index with the names of the columns changed. We say that we want to join on columns and we say that is a outer join. In this case, it's not mandatory because the default for concat is outer, okay? Let's just run this to see what we get from here here. And we got this, okay? And as you can imagine, if we want to do just a left join, we can filter these rows where the name is not a, not a number, okay? So we can go here and let me paste here this code where we use the lock function to just filter the rows that have a name that is not a number. If we run this, as you can see, now we don't have here in the name column not a numbers. So this is actually a left join. To do a left join where is null, we just need to do a similar thing. After this, we go here and we say that the name B must be null, okay? Because we want this to be not a number. We run this again and we got what we expected. A left join where is null using the concat function. Let's review. To do with the join method, we just need to call the query method after everything and ask for the rows that have in the column name underscore r, in the column from the right data frame, the value not a number. Okay, for the right join, we do exactly the same thing, but asking in this time for the rows that have in the column of the left data frame, the value not a number. To do the same thing with merge methods, we can take advantage of a new parameter that is the indicator, okay? This indicator will add a new column to the resulting data frame that inform us the source of each row. In this case, we are asking for rows that have just information from the left data frame, okay? And to do the same thing with concat, first we need to rename the columns of one data frame. This is a workaround for us to distinguish where the columns come from and then we can do our concat. We'd say that the join is a outer, outer join, and after this we need to filter the rows so we get the rows that don't have a match in the right data frame. This is the end. If you find this video helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, and as always, thank you for watching.